year ago, my very good friend Glenn left for Virginia. But before he did, he let me have a stab at his family's truly impressive VHS horror movie collection. And let me tell you, it was a doozy. Yeah, he just had him in his uh, trunk in the parking lot of Cordoba, and it was like the weirdest arms deal ever. I just got to take a big handful of these. And now, after all this time, I have decided to formally go through them and figure out which ones I'm going to watch. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have Shadow Zone. All right, Shadow Zone. On the dark side of dreams, a new terror takes shape. And it's got this like a uh, weird kind of scabby alien guy who's naked. And he's flashing the woman in the tube. That's pretty wild. All right. Uh, there is no escaping the shadow zone. While there, even thoughts can betray you. That's a lesson learned too late by NSA hypersleep researchers. They've broken the boundaries of dream sleep, unveiling a parallel dimension. And I just, they slept so hard that they went to another dimension. That's pretty wild. And through that dimension comes an alien invader unlike anything you've ever seen before. Each person's most morbid fear, oh, it takes the shape of each person's most morbid fear. Uh, David B. Croft, Louise Fletcher, oh, there's Ratchet, and uh, yada yada. Confront an intruder of unrelenting ferocity in Shadow Zone. Headlong plunge into a new dimension of unparalleled terror. And yeah, let's check out the back here. Okay, it's uh, promising a great deal of shenanigans. We got some kind of guy with an axe. We got a naked lady from the tube. Now it should be wild. We got a gooey monster there too. Should be interesting to watch. Oh, what else we got? We got uh, this kind of crappy box art here. Uh, Dana Andrews, Curse of the Demon. All right, let's see. Uh, when psychologist John, Dana Andrews, Holden's colleague, confusing, Professor Harriton is mysteriously and brutally murdered, Holden denies it is the work of the devil until he becomes the next target of the Curse of the Demon. The supernatural skeptic is plunged into a macabre world of seances and devil worship as he attempts to expose a satanic cult. Joanna Harrington, Peggy Cummins, convinced that her uncle was slain by demonic means, begs Holden to stop the investigation for his own good. But he ignores her warning until the bizarre cult leader places a death curse on him and suddenly he's confronted with the demon intent on destroying him. It should tell the occult, Curse of Demon will take you on an eerie expedition to darkness and ellipsis danger. All right, so it's black and white, 96 minutes. Oh, good times video. Boy, I feel old. We're gonna check that out. Let's see, we got, let's see. Ah, Satan is coming. Gross. Dark Desires unleashes the legions of Lucifer. Devil's Wedding Night. You know, I just, realize how gross this title is uh, weird a classic Italian horror thriller featuring the beautiful Sarah Bay who I've never heard of a young man goes to Transylvania searching for a cursed ancient ring that has supposed mystical powers his quest brings him to Castle Dracula where he discovers and falls for a strange beautiful woman who turns out to be Countess Dracula well she's in Castle Dracula I guess a good chance she's a Dracula. It seems she's hell bent on bringing old Drac back to life. She succeeds too. Spoiler. The man is put under the Countess's evil spell. His twin brother eventually shows up and tries to save him. So do you think like this is uh they got actual twins or they were just too cheap to hire uh, two male leads? I don't know. This is a cult Euro horror favorite that features some very atmospheric and sometimes brutally shocking scenes, not for the squeamish, and one to keep away from your young kids. Really? Well, I'm really building this up. Great R for nudity and violence, The Devil's Wedding Night was made in 1973 and features Mark Damon and Sarah Bay. Color, 35mm. Ooh. Please note further information on Citrus Cinema products. Please write. I'm going to see if that... Oh, they have a phone number. 
I should totally call, let's just call that right now. Okay. I'll put it on speaker. Nothing's happening. I don't know why that's cooking. Let's see. Hi there. You've reached Sinister oh. Cinema. We're either on the other line or unable to answer the phone right now. But if you'd like to place an order or request a catalog, please do so at the sound of the tone. Now, in ordering, please be sure to give your name, address, and phone number. Remember, it's very important that you spell out unfamiliar names, streets, and cities. We accept Visa and MasterCard, so please leave your card number and expiration date along with the three-digit security code on the back of the card. <laughs> when giving the names of the movies that you want, please be sure to give their item number if available. And if you have any other messages Should I give or my credit card? please leave them at the sound of the tone. You'll have as much time as you need, and thanks for calling. Oh, boy. Hi, I would love a Sinister Cinema catalog. Um, i give you my address, but... This is on YouTube, and I don't want to have a pipe bomb go off in my living room. So I'll call you guys back. That is wild. That number is still live. So you guys go crazy. Okay. Uh, after midnight. All right. Anything can happen in the dark. Oh, all right. Fair enough tagline. Are you ready to be scared? To understand fear, you have to experience fear. With these words, Professor Edward Derrick, Rami Zada, oh boy, that's a name, introduces a group of trusting college students to his course in the psychology of fear. An intense man whose unorthodox methods include resorting to sources of knowledge that can't be found in textbooks. Well, he's unorthodox, I guess that's kind of what that means. Derrick is not your average instructor. Those are kind of covered. One of his students, Allison, Jillian McWhorter, feels something's going to happen and tries to warn her classmates, but no one is prepared for what Derek has in store this semester. His extracurricular activities soon have them sharing stories that explore their deepest dread. As everyone learns, Professor Derek says fear is the ultimate survival mechanism. He means just that. Okay, so what do we got in the back here? We got another guy with an axe, just like Shadow Zone, and a skeleton holding an axe. So my hope here is we get a, an axe fight between this guy and the skeleton, because that would be totally wild. I'm really down for that. And uh, what else we got here? Uh, some independent movie I've never heard of. Yeah, forget about that. Let's see. And uh, we'll go right down the middle. Uh, night warning. They didn't go looking for trouble. They were just too curious. Now they know too much to live. Uh, Thorn EMI video. Jimmy McNichol. Susan Tyrell. Sounds familiar. Bo Svensson as Detective Carlson. And this is, this is nothing on the back. Now I gotta crack this open. Uh, all right. Ah, oh, good. It's all inside. Uh, Night Warning, a story about young love. All right. Perverted inner conflicts. Okay. And Sinister Mystery. Oh, all right. Aunt Cheryl, Susan Tyrell, has happily raised her nephew, Billy Lynch, played by Jimmy McNichol, since, his, since he was orphaned at the age of three. Problems soon arise with Billy's aunt as Billy grows up and begins to plan his college education and adult life. She does not approve of his girlfriend, nor does she want him to go away to college. As the people in Billy's life try to help him convince Aunt Cheryl to let him accept the college scholarship and begin a life of his own, the unstable personalities of each character are revealed and the violence erupts. So it's like a, a killer ant movie. Well, in the subsequent events, Lieutenant Carlson, Bo Svensson, believes Billy was the third side in a homosexual love triangle 
involving Billy's coach and the repairman, whom Carlson has accused Billy of murdering. Oh, that's pretty saucy. Billy is innocent. Spoiler. But he refuses to listen. It is this dogged and ruthless conviction that places Carlson's life in jeopardy. Numb by this deadly chain of events, each person seeks to escape the mounting terror, only to find that they're racing headlong toward the guilty party. Uh, color, 96 minutes. And uh, it is former property of Burt's Gas Ed Videos. Phone number, 393-4246, Monroe Center, Illinois. Be kind, rewind. I don't know the area code for that, so I don't know if I should call them. Maybe I will later. Okay. Let's see, we got Planet of the Dinosaurs, a sci fi classic. Maroon spaceship crew battles for survival on a deadly prehistoric planet. So the cover looks uh, pretty standard. It's just a picture. I'm going to go on a limb and say that this is probably a really old movie or a TV serial that they got the rights to and just sort of stitched it together. Uh, Nothing on the back, just the same picture blown up with the T-Rex head. After a runaway reactor destroys the spaceship Odyssey, nine survivors in the escape shuttle crash land on an uncharted planet, light years from any known civilization. Their number is soon reduced to eight when a female crew member is devoured by an amphibious monster. Oh, that blows it. Just one of the countless carnivorous creatures swarming the planet's surface. Lost and alone beyond all hopes of rescue, these prisoners of a prehistoric planet and its deadly inhabitants vow to stay alive while building a new civilization against all odds. There's only eight of them, so it's going to be an awful lot of uh, weird web toad kids. Winner of the Science Fiction Film Award, which uh, I don't know if that's a thing, for its impressive stop-motion animation. If it's stop-motion, it's got to be old. This interstellar epic will have you on the edge of your seat. And let's see. That is... Uh, hmm. Starring nobody. Not a soul. I can't even I don't remember any of these guys. All right. Uh, we got... Let's see. Uh, oh, homemade tape. And let's see. Yep, just an old homemade tape. Uh, done on SLP, which makes it really long. Back in the old day, you could put like six hours of footage on a tape like this, and they just taped these off TV. We have Red Dawn. I'm kind of hoping it's the Patrick Swayze one, and uh, not the, uh, you know, the Wolverines movie. Uh, the Tur the Terminator. You know, I'm not going to give people any crap for making their own homemade labels. I think it's really nice. I'm glad they do that. And uh, City Heat which I'm going to guess is probably one of those movies where it's a policewoman who uh, poses as a prostitute to avenge like her sister or somebody. Yeah, and I really hope that there's some old commercials on here, but that would be great. So we're going to put that there. All right, what else we got? We have Grim Reaper. Okay. It's not the fear that will tear you apart. It's him. All right, seems kind of standard. Uh, the dark and foreboding waters of the Asian Asian Sea, right? It's just weird when you see it by itself. Carry a group of young tourists to a mysterious Greek island. There they discover the island's village completely abandoned. Its inhabitants having vanished without a trace, returning to the shore, they discover that their ship has drifted away with no choice but to wait for the high tide. The next morning, the group must remain on the island overnight, occupying an abandoned house. The group is attacked by a young blind girl wielding a knife. Before they can stop her, she stabs one of the men. This is a lot of plot. Once the dude, the girl tells him the harrowing tale of a madman who is stalking the island. Madman who reeks of rotting flesh and blood as the darkness of the night enshrouds the island. Madman begins killing. Begins its killing spree. Stalking the group one by one, he slaughters them in his own horrifying manner until one girl truly discovers their killer's ghastly secret hidden in a catacomb stacked high with corpses. Of his victims... Will anyone survive the night of the Grim Reaper? See, I'm looking at this, and you know, I think, I think this is Anthropophagus. It's a, it's a video nasty. A whole bunch of uh, movies that uh, England banned 
in the VHS days because they were so gory. Uh, there's another uploader called Lampy Man 101 who has an excellent uh, review of this, if I'm right. I'm going to go ahead and drop that review in the uh, description, though, just in case. You should check it out. I'm looking forward to this. I hope it's not one of the chopped down ones. Uh, rated R, 82 minutes. Uh, it, might have been, it might be chopped up. Oh, well. Fingers crossed. And another homemade VHS. Angle of Heat. I'm, I'm not making fun of the names. Altered States, which is that movie where uh, the guy turns into a glowing mutant and then bashes around the hallway. That's cool. And The Warriors. It's one of my favorite movies. And I hope there's some commercials on there. I'm going to enjoy watching that. Even though I've seen all those movies before. Probably. And let's see. Wait a minute. City Heat. I'm guessing Angle of Heat is probably like City Heat. Like one of those. Like a prostitute is also like a stalking evil drug lords or something kind of movie. So looking forward to that and this one just kind of seems baffling to me it's uh another sinister cinema oh yeah we got the right phone number here it's um gordon scott yoko tani samson and the seven miracles of the world and look at that that weird box art that sort of amazing evil trembles when samson arises okay and uh it's really really Let's take a look. Who is he? Where did he come from? Three exclamation points for each statement. From seemingly out of nowhere, a mysterious hero named Samson arises to champion the cause of the oppressed people of ancient China. Oh, it's weird for Samson to be in China, but I guess, you know, gotta go where the action is. He must face vicious tigers, murderous hordes of warriors, and a scheming malevolent ruler as he struggles to rescue a quiet, lovely princess from the proverbial fate worse than death it's kind of weird that they mentioned she was quiet yeah a tale of epic proportions well acted exciting and enjoyable oh good in colossal color whatever that means and wait wait till you see the seventh miracle they kind of buried the lead there they didn't mention miracles anywhere in the plot just in the title okay uh it's a series uh Let's see, Hercules, Saving Goliath, Hercules in the Haunted World, and Hercules Against the Moon Men, which we, I think we've all seen on Mystery Science Theater. Okay, and uh, yeah, this is perplexing. I don't know what the heck this is. Maybe it's a, I hope it's a Kung Fu movie if it's set in China. All right, uh, no other information on the tape. It's got one of those weird red tops from back in the day. There's the label. And, uh, yeah, it is a mystery. I don't even know how long this is. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead, get the VCR set up, and start watching these. Well, if you guys have any comments, uh, extra information, or any suggestion of which order I should watch these in, or any ones you want to hear me talk more about, uh, leave it in the comments. All right. Thank you all. Great day.